Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and today we're going to make two things. We're going to make a journal card, and we're going to make an altered envelope. So let's start with the journal card. The journal card is approximately three inches by three and a half inches. It was just a leftover bit. <laughs> so you can do whatever size floats your boat that works for you. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece of paper and I'm going to put it in my spray box. And I've got Tattered Angels Plain Jane Simply Sheer in Safety Orange. And even though this doesn't have glimmer in it, it still has a pigment. So you want to shake it so it'll be nice and mixed up. And then I'm going to just spritz this a couple of times. And I just shook it, and just so happened this one leaks <laughs> when you shake it like that. So I just shook it on top of there. The next thing I'm going to do is I've got Tattered Angel's Glimmer Mist in almost black. And again, I'm going to shake it, but this time I'm going to open it up, and I'm going to use the sprayer wand or straw and just flick it onto my paper. I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to flip it over like so and what that'll do is that'll wipe off any excess that is on there and kind of mute it just a little bit because I really want that as a background. Alright so I have went around or sprayed this so now what I want to do is I want to stamp on it. I'm just getting a little piece of scrap paper I can put down here and I've got a cheap house haunted house looking stamp it's from stamp abilities and I've got some brilliance graphite black ink and I haven't even looked to see if they still sell this or if they've got a different brand but any dark black permanent ink I just using this because it was on my desk <laughs> and I was using it for a different project so here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna stamp across here but I'm not gonna stamp perfectly I'm gonna stamp kind of wonky because I want to have some different heights and looks to this uh, stamping of the house so that one's kind of wonky so we're gonna go down a little bit and then we'll put this one so I just kind of added a little bit of whimsy at the bottom I'm going to take the October 31st one, and I think this one is also from Stampabilities. I don't know if Stampabilities through Hobby Lobby, you can still get some of these older stamps, or if they just went ahead and discontinued them all. So I'm just pressing that into the stamped image on there. Okay, so next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put black marks all the way around this. I found that instead of matting it onto another piece of paper, and in this case if I did that I wanted a matte in black, then the back would be black and it's hard to write on that. So instead what I'm going to do is make black marks around the card, which will give that appearance that it is matted. And I'm just using a really cheap permanent marker that I got at Dollar Tree and my ruler. So I'm lining it up to where I can see just a sliver of the card and then I'm going to take my marker and go back and forth. And in my case my marker is getting old so I should get a new one. But I'm being cheap and I want to make sure I use this one all the way up. But if you have a new marker it'll go really fast. So now I've got the borders all the way around. So that's a pretty cute card just by itself, don't you think? You could go ahead and use that in your junk journal. But I want to add a little bit more to it. So I have a little piece of glitter tool. So basically I bought a roll of kind of a, I call it zombie green tool at the craft store. And what I'm going to do is take this little piece and we're going to kind of pleat it over and make a little tuft with it. And then, oh, I forgot I didn't do this part yet. This is a stamped image before the video. I just stamped it onto a yellow or golden colored. And next I'm going to use some Distress Ink black soot and go around the edge. I should have already done this. 
And then I'm going to use this Best Glue Ever by Scrap Perfect with the No Clog Writing Cap. I'm just going to put a little bit on the back side of this. And then I punched a circle that happens to be just slightly bigger. So that'll give it a little bit of a black border. Now, I'll take this little thing of tool and kind of squish it together. And I think I want it to be here when it comes off. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue underneath the tool and on the back side of my circle. I'm going to add some more glue on top of the tool. A hot glue would also work. And then we're going to set this, make sure I've got it straight and capture the little tuft underneath and press that into place. I got a little ahead of myself because I forgot to add some distress ink on the outside edge. So what I'm going to do is flip this part over and I've got some walnut stain. We're going to sneak that in on that edge and I'll do the rest of the edges. So don't do as I did. Make sure you add that distress ink before you glue on the tool. I don't know. I just think that distress inks help bring that in and make it look a little more vintage. Kind of fun. Okay, so there's a journal card I made. So now let's make an altered envelope. So basically, I have these envelopes because my husband's family used to own this business and they sold it and we ended up with these envelopes that were going to go in the trash. So what I did was I went to my paper cutter and I cut off, I'm getting a piece of paper here so you can see it, in my case, two inches off of each end. So this was a return, I guess you call it a number 10, maybe a number nine envelope. I think maybe a number nine. I think it fits inside a number 10. So we're going to discard one end, but I want to keep one end and we're going to keep the middle piece. And by doing that, you end up with a full piece now that can be used again as an envelope, but it won't have closure on the side. So what we're going to do next I'm going to put this in the spray box and I'm going to use the almost black, so let me get that where you can see, almost black tattered angels and we're going to spritz this. And I've just got another piece of paper I'm going to mop up, basically helping this to dry a little faster. So now we've got these pieces. I think I want this one to be a little bit darker so I'm going to spray it again. I like the way this one's turning out. I'm going to take a little bit of glue because this flap on my envelope was a new envelope. So it didn't have uh, the flap closed. So I'm going to close it. Now I have a tutorial from 2017 that shows you how to alter a used envelope. So definitely check that out. I'll have a link in the description box and have a little eye. So now that we've got this portion, so we don't forget, we're going to put some Distress Ink all the way around the edges. So I'm going to use the Walnut Stain and go around the edges. I want to add a little color for the inside. So I'm going to use Safety Orange Tattered Angels Plain Jane and just kind of spritz it just a little bit just so that it's not white on the inside. So I'm just kind of closing that up so I know where my front is and then this is now a new pocket that's going to go onto my card and um, you could glue it shut I've done that on some and then this will be a nice clean edge on the top I think this time I'm going to leave it open and I'm going to add some distress ink to the edges of this one okay so I've got my best glue ever on with the no clog writing cap added and I'm just going to go in here and add a little bead on three sides so that this can become a little pocket. Since I'm leaving that top opening you could in theory glue the whole thing down and then you've got a pocket here but I want a pocket behind and inside. So the next thing I'm going to do is kind of look at this and I want to make sure that I come down just a little bit on the front of my envelope and what that'll do is it's covering up that return address 
and it's creating a pocket for our journal card that can go in here. Got it? All right, we're gonna leave that out for a moment. I know that I want to stamp up here, so I have this little bat, and I'm just gonna use some Brilliance ink, the same ink I was using before, because it's on my desk. And we're gonna stamp right here in the corner. And then I have some calico collage images. These are domino size image, and what I've done is I've matted it with cardstock in purple and black. And then I have a little ribbon trim that I picked up at, I think, Hobby Lobby. And it's just kind of fuzzy. I just thought it was kind of neat. And I thought, why couldn't I adhere this on here and give a little extra flare of color? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this to see. All right. I'm going to put a little glue on the card first and stick the trim into it. And then I know that this is gonna come out the top, so I'm not gonna go all the way to the top. And I'm just adding glue, and I'll put it on this side, kind of centered from top to bottom, and make sure that it grabs that trim underneath there. Prior to the video, I used the Boo to You and stamped it on a piece of the same paper and just splattered it with some tattered angels and then went around the edge just like I did on this card. And that's going to be a little sentiment over here. So we'll put some glue on the back side of that. Put this right here. And this journal card will go in here. Okay. And then we'll flip this over on the back. Well, when you look at the back, don't be like me and have yours glue shut because this was wet. If you don't glue it shut, it'll pop up. So what I'm gonna do is take this calico collage little image that I've created and about the halfway point and down, make a little box and then make this in the center and press it into place. And now you have a journal card with a pocket on the envelope that will fold out so that you can write inside of it. If you wanted to, you could glue the sides and leave this as an envelope that you would post stuff on the top. So it just kind of depends on what you want to do with it. Well, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial series, seeing the little journal card and the envelope. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends so that others can see it and be inspired. Be a motivated creator and because you see neat things, you're motivated to go ahead and create. And share that on your social media, hashtag motivated creator. I'd love to see what you're creating as well. All right, everybody, make sure you check the description box for links to the Calico Collage and Tattered Angels. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Also look in the description box for connectors to my Facebook groups, as well as my social media with Twitter, Instagram, my website, my blog etc. If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe and hit that notification bell at the top so that you'll make sure to get a notification the next time I post. Thanks so much for watching everybody. Have a fabulous day. Bye.